In this video, we'll take a look at how you can fix Wi-Fi issues and where the Wi-Fi option is missing in your Windows settings. This can happen for a number of reasons and can be frustrating when you want to get your laptop back online. If you want to create a restore point before carrying out these steps, then I'll leave a link in the description for this. First, let's go and check your Wi-Fi adapter. Go to Start, Settings, Network and Internet, then go down to Change Adapter Options, and you can see the Wi-Fi adapter over on the right hand side here. If you see your Wi-Fi adapter in a disabled state, then right click on the adapter and click Enable to see if this fixes the issue. If that doesn't fix your issue, then you can reset your Windsock settings, go to the taskbar and do a search in the taskbar for Command Prompt. I'll run this as administrator. Then type the command net sh space winsock space reset. This will reset any incorrect or corrupt entries in the Winsock catalog. Then type in net sh space int space ip space reset space reset log dot txt to reset the log. That was successful, so go ahead and restart your computer to see if this fixed the issue. If you're still having an issue, then this time we'll need to check our services. From the taskbar, do a search for services and open this. Now go down the list of services as we need to find the WLAN auto config service. And there it is. And I can see the service is already running. If this is not running for you, then double click on this and start the service here. And make sure the startup type is set to automatic so when your computer reboots, it will automatically start the service. And OK to apply the settings. You can also look at doing a network reset. Go to Start, Settings, Network and Internet. Then at the bottom, go to Network Reset. This will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. Select Reset Now and confirm that you want to reset your network settings. And you can see that it will restart the computer once you've confirmed the reset. If you still have an issue after you've rebooted your computer, then the next place to have a look will be at the network driver. From the taskbar, have a look for device manager and open from the results. Expand the network adapters. And I'll select my Wi-Fi driver. I'll double click on it and go to the driver tab. Now there's a few different options here and what we want to do is go to the update driver option and then browse my computer for drivers then go to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. This will show you a list of available drivers that are compatible with your computer. On the left, you'll see the model of the driver, which are all the same, but on the right hand side, you'll see who this is from. And the extra drivers shown here have come through Microsoft or files that are compatible on your computer. You might even see a date and time of when the drivers are installed, which coincides with when the problem started. If that's the case, then you can select the previous date of the driver and select next. This will install the driver and then you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If it's still not working after the reboot, then go back into the update driver option and then search automatically for drivers. Good chance this will come back and tell you that Windows has determined that the best driver for the device is already installed. Now you can see an option here for search for updated drivers on Windows Update. So let's click on this. Now this brings us into Windows Update and here's where you can also notice a problem. Go into View Update History and check the dates for when updates were last installed. 
it's possible that Windows installed a driver or updated a driver which caused an issue with your Wi-Fi driver. If you go into uninstall updates, this will show you a list of updates that have been installed. So maybe I experienced the issue on the 22nd, but I can see that an update was installed on the 21st. Select the driver and then go to uninstall. And when prompted, select yes to confirm. After a reboot, if that doesn't do the trick, you can always try and uninstall the driver from your computer. When you're on the Wi-Fi driver, just select the uninstall device option, then uninstall to confirm and start the uninstall process. Once that's done, you'll need to reboot your computer. Using another computer if possible, you can always try and download the latest driver for your computer. You can open up a browser and do a search for your laptop manufacturer. So if your computer was a Acer laptop, for example, do a search for Acer drivers. And I'll select the first link for Acer drivers. So here it will get you to put in your serial number or model number. If you need to find your serial number, then do a search in the taskbar for command prompt and open this from the results. Then you want to type in a WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number and hit enter. This will then give you your serial number for your computer. So you can go back over to the browser and do a search for this with the serial number. Or if you know your device details, you can just select the category, series and model details. This will then give you a list of drivers and you can just download the Wi-Fi driver for your laptop. Sometimes you might see more than one driver, so just make sure you select the correct one. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and install the driver to see if this helps fix the issue. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helps you out then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.